For better or worse, in the gaming circles of the internet, I think it's safe to say that things are about to get a little bit nuts. As Rockstar Games have just tweeted this. I still do refer to it as Twitter, but I suppose that's a bit besides the point at the moment. So if you recall a few weeks back, Rockstar Games tweeted that they would be revealing the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto in December. I don't think anybody anticipated that would mean they would share more information on the 1st of December. They certainly haven't dropped the trailer yet, but they have told us when they will be dropping that first trailer that so many people have been anticipating. So at 9am Eastern Time on the 5th of December, which is a Tuesday, thanks for clarity on that one Rockstar, 2023, trailer 1 will drop. And in the first hour of that tweet existing, it's been viewed almost 14 million times. It is baffling how much hype Rockstar can generate simply by tweeting out a bit of key art with a bit of key information on it. And it's understandable as to why people would be excited by this even if we knew we would be hearing something this month anyway, because the next Grand Theft Auto game is about as overdue as my taxes. Of course, they haven't confirmed if it's going to be called Grand Theft Auto 6 or if it'll have some mad subtitle, but we do now have a lovely bit of key art to digest. We got these pink and purple tones and palm trees, so I suppose that means the game will be set in Vice City, which we know courtesy of rumours, so that should really come as no shocker to anybody who hasn't been living under a rock. But that's about it, it is not intended to give too much away, as the actual marketing campaign hasn't fully begun yet. That occurs on the 5th of December at 9am Eastern Time or 2pm GMT, which is the time zone I'm in so at least it's not the absolute ass crack of dawn for me. And I know that 9am isn't really the crack of dawn, but we're talking about gamers here. Anyway, Rockstar have since proceeded to wipe their Instagram account with only one post being this new key art. And of course, they have a new banner on their Twitter, or X account, should we say. I still can't bring myself to call Twitter that, I'm sorry. Interestingly, they haven't gone for a signature profile picture change. For example, if you remember, they had a red one for Red Dead Redemption 2. And that also went and broke the internet a little bit. But I suppose Rockstar's track record with their announcements can give us a bit of an idea of what to expect on the 5th of December. An establishing short trailer that doesn't give away too much information about anything, but gives us an idea of the atmosphere of the game and what it's intending to accomplish. And then there'll no doubt be a delay at some point, and we'll probably see the game in like 2025. But I guess what I'm trying to stress here is that though we're finally going to be seeing what the next Grand Theft Auto game will look like, it definitely doesn't mean it's going to be releasing anytime soon. Yes, it's an exciting time, but it will be interesting to see how people will cope with avoiding overindulging in excitement and anticipation. It's not that Rockstar didn't deliver a great game with their last proper release being Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's a fantastic single player game. The online's a bit wank, but there you go. But if recent years have taught us anything, even the industry's titans are fallible. It's not a suggestion that Rockstar's up next on that chopping block, but anything can happen. That healthy dose of pessimism aside though, I do look forward to seeing what's next for GTA on the 5th of December. And hopefully if the world is constructed in any way akin to Red Dead Redemption 2, whenever this game releases, I'll hopefully have copious bits of juicy content to deliver unto you, the viewer. But I'm sure I'll do a trailer breakdown or something when the time comes. I was actually worried it would drop a bit later than the 5th. I thought it would be sometime between the 8th or the 11th because that's when I'm not going to be at home and Sod's Law hasn't favoured me in that respect. A lot of news regarding games, especially games I've been interested in, have always come when I wasn't able to really pay much attention, if that makes sense. So maybe my luck is finally turning. However, that said, I will chuckle violently if it turns out that somehow Rockstar Games is baiting us. Anyway, I think I'll leave this video here because I've run out of anecdotes and there isn't enough information to justify hitting the 8 minute mark. You could call this video Touching Base. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I will see you on the 5th of December at the very least with some Grand Theft Auto related content, no doubt. 
As for other content I've got on the go, I've been streaming through Grand Theft Auto 4, and those streams have been fun. In fact, I'm starting to suspect that I've timed this quite well. So if you're about and you see me live streaming, whatever I may be streaming, come along and say hello. I actually read my chat. Otherwise, I might as well publish a Let's Play, and I don't do those. But I don't stream as much as I'd like to, so please bear with me while I get my ideas together. But I'm going to depart now, so I will see you all very soon, hopefully. Take care, and goodbye.